Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is Too Cute for Cancer. My name is Jody, and I am living with stage four metastatic breast cancer. Today's topic is going to be about healing versus cured. And this is how I choose to live. This is how I eat to support my immaculate made body, take care of the whole self, spiritual, physical, and I stop looking at my cancer as the only thing happening in my body. Now you say, Jody, whoa, wait a minute. How do you not focus on the cancer? This is what I do and this is what I've learned to do, okay? I consciously put my cancer away. Then I start focusing on the rest of me, my body. I start strengthening all of me. That includes my soul, my mind, the whole thing, my thought process, everything. I've made up a system I use to keep myself focused and it kind of works for me. Number one, I put my cancer in a do not touch box. And then, number two, I start focusing on my soul, my emotions. I pray and I simply talk to my maker. After all, he made me, so who better to hit up for a great chat about whatever's bugging me, right? Number three, I start breaking it down. <laughs> what do I mean by this? Well, I do my research. Internet can be a beautiful wealth of instant information, right? Okay. Um, I Google, you know, how to strengthen my body, how to, you know, whatever. And then I start weeding out the bad and the fiction, and I kind of see what rings true to me. Um, and then I start putting into practice what I learn. Or, well, first I go back and I, I pray again, and I say, okay, I got this thing, I got this new diet, I got this new whatever, and then I get confirmation, confirmation and I get this gut feeling like, yeah, let's go, and then I take charge. Um, my goal is to make cancer, like my body, to be the most worst place for cancer to want to stay. <laughs> cancer makes us feel so helpless and out of control, right? Ugh. By creating a plan and taking charge and focusing on healing, not only the cure, but there's the whole, the whole part of me. Then I start feeling relieved and I start like, Ah, and then when I start feeling stress again, when I start looking like cancer's all there is, I go back to step one again. I do step two, and I keep going. So this is just a small example of how I do it, okay? Number one, I put cancer in a box and I set it aside. Number two, I go out on my front porch. I love to be outdoors. I swing in my beautiful swing and where all my sweet jasmine is around me and it smells so good. And then I tell God how I'm feeling. And I tell him, please help me find the right information to take care of my temple, my body. Then I end up in gratitude in the name of all the things that I'm thankful for. Number three, I find a comfy spot and I open up my laptop and I start researching <laughs> how to strengthen my body or eating to heal illness. You put it in there, a million stuff comes, you know, up. Um, number four, I pray and I go back to God with this and I say, this is what I found. And then number five, I get going. Like I found the plant-based uh, diet for myself. And then I go shopping, I clean up my cupboards. I start, you know, researching boards and chat rooms so I can get into it and learn how to do it right. It's, it can be fun. I try new recipes by constantly focusing on the cancer, whether it be any, any kind of problem, illness, um, depression, aging, empty nester, any of that, it can be really, you know, take a toll on you. So if you can put whatever it is aside and focus on the rest of you, maybe the healthier part of you for a while, to strengthen that portion of you to fight what's in that box, and that's cancer, okay? This is Jody, and I'm signing off for now. Don't forget to hit subscribe button and ding, 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 ding. I'd be so grateful for your support. Also, if there is a topic that you would like me to talk about, like this week's topic, please drop a comment below. I appreciate all your feedback, and I enjoy you guys. So take, take care. Bye.